Hello agents, last week I had an email from a sub called Zato and he suggested I made a video discussing the differences from Discovery Raids compared to normal. I did one of these a long time back for Dark Hours but I've never done one for Iron Horse and in this video we are going to cover the Dark Hours one again for those that may have missed it and we're going to do a better job of it. And then next week I'll cover the Iron Horse Discovery one as well. The idea is to discuss how each raid is different before showing you all of the boss fights in full. If you do enjoy the video then be sure to hit like and share and make sure that you also subscribe if you are new to the channel. I am also the founder of the best division community on discord so when you are done also check out the video description for a link to our community. So for the Dark Hours Discovery Raid, there is one change that affects the whole raid and that is that NPCs have less HP. They will die much quicker making this raid easier to complete. You will also not be able to collect any raid keys on Discovery, nor will you be able to get any of the exotic drops. You can however matchmake on Discovery and you can get the boss loot drops which can come with very good rolled gear. On our first run we were able to get all of the boss loot and then on the second run they only dropped two items from the boss so it appears that you can only get the full boss loot once per week on Discovery. Moving on to the mechanics and the tarmac is no different than a normal raid. You have the same spawns and it's just easier to kill them. The boomer boss fight is where you're going to see your first change of the mechanics. The ad spawns are exactly the same, but you'll not have to worry about any of the laptops. Boomer is also easier to take down to his knee, and you can do a little more than 2 bars of damage every time he goes down very quickly. The mechanics for the first key box were the same as a normal raid, and although you cannot get a key, you are still able to get exclusive materials out of these boxes. And then for the weasel fight I didn't notice any differences, it was just much easier with the bosses having hardly any XP and the fight was finished very quickly. Keybox 2 and 3 were also the same as normal but you had a lot more time to reach the elevator. And then for Lucy and Buddy you got a much larger margin for error as you'll notice a bigger bracket on their health bars. Mix this with the HP being lower and this fight is extremely easy. The final key box is just the same as normal and then we have the final boss Razorback. For Razorback the biggest difference is that the generators don't need to be charged in sync. You could in theory have one person charge all 4 to 100%. On top of this the boomers take much longer to spawn and you'll only ever have to worry about one boomer spawn. These are also very easy to kill you can see on screen now that I had time to kill a boomer that was not in my corner with ease. During the weak spot phase the gates were very easy to shoot out and you only got one mortar but drones were still a pain so do bring your drone killer build. And that is it, the raid was very easy to complete compared to the normal version and I'm now going to show you a run through of each boss on the discovery version of Dark Hours. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on the video and do enjoy the rest of it. Until next time thank you for watching this and peace out. That negotiated dilemma would work a real treat, yeah. Nice chest. I'm unstoppable!
Ivan look at that one. It's just a prototype. Head to the hangar. As soon as you got that. Stuff. Ready on front? Yep. Go. Okay, remember, guys, to pause. Toxic gas. Yeah, Drop. Pause. Back. Okay, go. Razorback and put it out of commission. Five two Razorback confirmed. Wreck that fucking thing, agent. One mortar as well, isn't it? I think I just know it's for the first time. I'm gonna get one mortar. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
thank you, thank you. Black Tusk Experimental Weaponry.